Hey guys, welcome to Waypoint X. My name is Judd, and for today's video, we're doing one last check on all of our gear before we go hit the Rubicon. Stay tuned. Welcome again, guys. My name is Judd, and we just really do appreciate all your support. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, leave us a comment, hit that bell for all the notifications that have to do with Waypoint X. So we're going to start right here in the back. Most of our gear is right here in the rear of the Jeep. Um, so let's get started. So like we said, we are going to the Rubicon Trail. Um, and we'll be hitting some uh, trails beforehand and after uh, the trail. So uh, we got a nice new fancy top. I like it. It's awesome. So right here, I just got some spare hoses. I've got to put that actually in my gear. So we'll just uh, throw those off to the side. But right here, we've got some recovery gear. Now, most likely, that's going to be up front with us. Uh, but we were just trying to get everything in here. What we have in here, we've got some uh, gloves. We've got a Factor 55 soft shackle. We've got a 20-foot uh, toe strap. And we have a ARB snatch block. So that's, uh, that's for that guy. Next, uh, we've got our first aid kit. It's got uh, multiple different things. Got some SAM splints, uh, tourniquets. Um, some bandages, 4x4s, band-aids, different ointments, burn cream, all that kind of stuff. Got a little small first aid kit. Uh, next, we've got all our air up supplies. So this has our uh, power tank, um, gauges, and hose, and all, all of our air up gear is uh, right in here. We'll go ahead and open that up, show you. So we got all our air gauges, got a nice power, fancy power tank stuff like that so we keep all that in that bag so it's a uh, nice tucked away and neat over here I'm not gonna take it out we have a 15 pound power tank it's got their nice fancy regulator on it and that's how we're gonna air up and down um, after the trail next uh, you see why do you have some 4 by 4 some uh, 4 by 4 this is how we jack up the car so this kinda gives us a base for our bottle jack so we've got those two and then we've got a solid plate that we can put our bottle jack on. Next, we have, me, so it's empty at the moment, but we are, like we said earlier in our earlier video about what we're kind of taking as far as camping gear. Six gallon water jug, we'll fill that up later. Next, we got some zip ties. Always need zip ties. But in this case, go ahead and pull it out. So in this case, you kind of see we have an assortment. So we do have, we are bringing some extra U-joints. Our buddy Clayton is bringing the U-joint tool. So we got some U-joints. We've got all different kind of pliers over here. Uh, all assortments, needle nose, cutters, anything you need. Got extra bolts, um, more extra bolts, some hose clamps. Um, we got uh, Loctite and anti seize different things. We got Sharpies, little screwdrivers, flashlight. Um, picked up these from O'Reilly's. They're like Gojo, but in a pouch. So like to rub your hand, get the grime off your hands, something that a wet wipe won't do. I think it probably has sand in it. So it'll get all that grime off of you. And then we have flatheads, um, uh, all types of screwdrivers, Phillips heads, just kind of assortment of uh, screwdrivers. So that's this case. So we wanted everything to be organized. So here we've got our, kind of stuck in there, but this is our jumper cables. Nice and long so we can, it does, we don't have to be nose, nose to a car. We can actually have, I can actually back up to a car and still jump somebody off. So they're pretty long. Now we are bringing assortment of fluids. Um, right here in the front we do have like extra nuts and bolts. For the Jeep, track bar bolts, um, all just all kinds of different bolts and nuts and all kinds of things. Look, Caitlin, I found our extra strap. <laughs> We've been looking for that. We knew it was somewhere. Uh, that's the strap to our sway bar up front. We just found it. We've been looking at oh, all night for it. Uh, but what we have in here, we have uh, ADW90 gear oil. So front differential, rear differential, it doesn't matter if you need oil in it. We've got it. Uh, got another one right here. Uh, also, we got dot three brake fluid, so just in case a brake line does go down, we've got that. We've got three cans of brake cleaner. 
Um, another buddy of ours is bringing some transmission fluid, so we just have a, um, a quart of it. We have two quarts of power steering fluid, so we are running that PSC power steering pump and reservoir, so we need to carry our own power steering fluid, so we have two quarts of that. We have six quarts of engine oil just in case. Um, we hope we don't need it just in case, and we will be bringing a, um, I forget the name of it, but we will be bringing an oil filter, K&N, k, &N, k &N, I think it is, not sure. Uh, and uh, lastly, we have some uh, coolant. So that's that. We have all our fluids that we need. Um, if you think, if you can think of any other fluids we need, leave a comment below. So here's our next one. Got some Gorilla Tape, duct tape. Dead blow. Flashlight, we're bringing our DeWalt tools. So we have an impact and a flashlight we're bringing. Three batteries and the charger just in case. Hopefully we don't need anything besides the flashlight. Um, and this roll, I'm not gonna unroll it. You've seen it before, but this is all of our opening wrenches and things of that nature. We've got another case right here. This is all of our DeWalt stuff. So it's got a set of gloves in it. It's got our impact in it, our charger, and it's got two batteries in it. Uh, just got an open end wrench, a uh, crescent wrench, just in case. You know, you can just, got it right here, pop it out, tighten something up if you need to, something quick. Next, we have all of our electrical stuff. We got a tester. Um, we've got um, different different connections. We've got extra wire in here, a fuse puller, fuses, anything electrical, right here. Next, this thing's heavy. We got a bottle jack, Harbor Freight. I'm not sure what the tonnage is. Let me see. Go ahead and open it up. This is a 12-ton bottle jack. So we've got that. So we haven't gone to a high lift jack. Um, really just because of money, but maybe that might be in the future. Next case is all of our sockets. So we have half inch, quarter inch, all that kind of stuff. So it's just all of our sockets. And then we have all of our, our big impact stuff for, you know, your track bolt, track, track bolts and um, your control arms, all of, all of that kind of stuff we've got in here. So it's starting to get heavy. Uh, next we have a hammer, we got a hatchet, a bigger crescent wrench, a, a sledgehammer. You always need a sledgehammer, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, just so that's about it. We've got a big pull bar down here. We've got a little small little torque wrench. We don't know if we're going to take it yet, but we do have it. So that is that. Throw some of this back in there. Up here. We've got our tent. So this is the tent that is going to be off to the side of our pop-up tent. Uh, we've just left it in the case. We don't want to deal with it. It's got it's in a cardboard box still. So that's that. And then we have our two cots behind it. It's on our little shelf that my dad and I made a long time ago. It's still working great for us. So we've got that. Uh, next, we just put a ratchet trap up, up here uh, just for the time being. Just so I can lock out. But this is uh, the stuff that we want to keep dry. Just in case. So what we have in here, guys, see if I can move some of this stuff around. So in here we have our shower pouches. Got those. We have two things of toilet paper. Always need that. We've got our, our river tubes. We've got uh, bug off or off. We have some sunscreen. We also have our mosquito stuff. And uh, another little spot stick for sunscreen and our mosquito stuff, our um, little hand warmers in here. Everything that you kind of want dry, you don't want it to get in the elements. Our bug nets, we got our enos in here, our sheets for our sleeping bags. It's got a towel in the bottom. It's got our plates, knives, and uh, cups that we are bringing with us. It's got our extra batteries. So just kind of assortment of things uh, that we thought Put it in a box, it will keep it nice and organized for us and we can use it on the trail. So now with that said, we're going to move to the back seat. 
Okay, guys, we're on the passenger side now. So you see our Dometic uh, CF50 cooler. Uh, it's not plugged in up yet. Uh, we'll tr we'll go ahead and plug it up. Uh, Caitlin will actually be here, um, so she'll plug it up. Next, we have our pop-up tent. We have our sleeping bags tucked up underneath the rear seat. Um, we've got Caitlin's little air pad um, for her sleeping cot, and then we have basically a yoga mat for mine. Um, I'm not, I'll go to sleep pretty quick. So Caitlin's laughing in the background. So that's my yoga mat. So that is that area. So let's move to the front. Now that we're at the front, we have a tow rope up underneath the seat. So just in case Caitlin can jump out or if she's already out, she just has it in quick, um, quick grab. Um, next we have our iPad holder. We've got our radio, our comms uh, to talk to Clayton already up and going. Um, we have our CB radio and our iPad mount. We've got a dual um, little car charging port so we can run it to the to the Dometic cooler. And um, it's going to our GPS unit up top. And then we have my phone mount over there. And we have my comms on the other side. So let's go ahead and show you the passenger, I mean the driver's side in the back seat. All right, guys, so we're on the driver's side, the back seat. So there's not much back here um, just yet. So there will be a drone, our camera bag, uh, food. We got need some food, snacks, great snacks. Um, but most of the time, it's just going to be our clothes and stuff like that. We do want to keep it open just in case somebody on the trail does want to jump in with us, you know, trail guide of that nature. Uh, we can throw our bags in the back on top of the cots. But what we have in the floorboard um, underneath the seat we have our sleeping bags, we have our trail chair, and oh, sorry, trail table, trail chair, and the other trail chair is under there as well. And then we have our fan, um, slip, slides right there into our nice Carhartt seat covers. It was a great place for it, and we'll put the other fan somewhere else because the Dometic cooler is kind of taking up the space on the other side. But uh, that's kind of where we're at, so let's uh, go back to the back and finish up this video. All right, guys, so that is what we're taking with us on the Rubicon trail trip. Now, a lot what we are doing, we'll be having the truck, so we'll be putting our clothes in there for the majority of the time, and then we're just going to take another duffel bag and just take the clothes that we need for the trail with us and then leave the rest of the clothes in the truck where we drop it off at, and so we just have what we need for the trail. Um, so that's basically what we have. If, we, if you think we're forgetting something, I promise you there's tons of Walmarts between here and there, and we can definitely stop. So leave a comment below for us. Uh, we do, really do appreciate your guys' support. Um, thank you for tuning in. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. Hit that bell so you can get notified when all of our videos are upcoming. We'll, there will be plenty of video footage of all of our trails. Um, before the Rubicon, the Rubicon, and after. So we really do appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a great day.